segment I found on Facebook that kind of sums up what we're trying to do. A violinist played 45 minutes on the New York subway. Four people stopped and one clapped. Managed to raise $20. The following night, the same violinist played in one of the most recognized stages in the world and charged a minimum of $100 per entry. The experiment proved that the extraordinary in an ordinary environment does not shine. It is not recognized. There are brilliant professionals who don't receive an award according to their potential. Once they arm themselves with value and leave this kind of environment, they thrive and grow. In San Antonio, we have so many exceptional artists who don't get the spotlight they deserve. And that's where we come in. tonight is the amazing, the talented MJ Ramos. And uh, <laughs> hi MJ, how are you today? I'm good, I'm good, and you? Pretty good, pretty good. So thank you for uh, being our first victim. Thank you for having me, your first victim. Yeah. I had an artist mm. who made a drawing, mm -hmm. and a friend of his showed up with a tattoo of that same art that he had. I would love it. Yeah. Yeah. I would love it. I, I, I think that would like, I would feel like I made it, you yeah. know, some way or another, like to be like, man, that shit's like on you forever. You know, <laughs> like that would be awesome. What do you feel is your big inspiration for your art? Uh, inspirations? I think I kind of just want to, pe to have people see it and like it, like, something different, something bright, something bold, something, you know, uh, that'll pop, I guess, especially like with my black light paintings. I think stuff like that is like really sentimental. Um, I had this uh, one girl who had her entire family draw like a little heart and um, she came in and told me, she goes, I know these hearts are all different and weird. She was like, but make them exactly that way. So I tattooed them all. I tattooed every single heart the way that she had drawn them out. And like, I, I thought that was so beautiful because she was like, it was around Christmas time, like around before Christmas. She was like, all my family's coming together around Christmas. She was like, and they're all gonna see this like that I did for them. I was like, that is beautiful. Like, that's just so like heart touching, you know, or heartfelt, like, I love that. There's times where I just wanna, you know, feel that machine glide on the skin. And then there's times where I just wanna you know, get messy with paint. And there's times I love, you know, getting even messier with charcoal. You know, when, what do you feel would make you happy as an artist? Uh, do you, are you going for the fame and fortune? Or as far as that, are you just wanting people to see, you know, the true beauty of your art? Um, are you trying to go? In I'm not going for fame and fortune, but I would like to make some kind of profit off of it. You know, I'm, I'm real lenient with my, my prices, you know. Um, uh, I, I kind of just want to see my shit in your room, you know. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel. Like, like I want to, I wanna like, one day be like, oh, that's my fucking painting, you know. Like, yeah. like just to be like, I don't know. Like, my sisters, like, they've, they've bought a couple of my paintings. And, like, I go in their house and I'm like, that's my shit right there, you know. Like. Like, it's not about fame, it's just about, like, me being out there, you know? Like, you taking a piece of me, Yeah. you know? And that's 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 how I feel, like, you're taking one of my babies, you know? Yeah. Like, you're, you're, you're enjoying it. I, I, that's what I want, is people to enjoy what, what they see. Um, what age do you feel you actually honed your technique? You have a very unique technique I could actually uh, kind of distinguish from other artists. Um, probably just recently, to be honest with you, because um, in my high school years, I used to draw out of emotion. So 
what you see now is what I've become, not what I used to be, I guess. Very nice. Yeah, every day we're growing. Every day we're growing, but a lot. Uh, I used to do a lot more um, dark stuff back in the day with a lot more detail and stuff, and now it's kind of more like simple and to the point. <laughs> what do you feel is your favorite inspiration for your art? Uh, or inspirations? I think I kind of just want to pe to have people see it and like it. Like something different, something bright, something bold, something, you know, uh, that'll pop, I guess. Especially like with my black light paintings or my glow in the dark paintings, like, I think those are really, really cool. I love those. Like the the colors are just so bright. So it comes off as one painting, but when the black light shines on it, it becomes a different painting. Yeah, it looks completely different because you'll see like the thing, right? But you won't see all the colors until you put that black light on it, yeah. and then it becomes like a whole other kind of painting. Like that one that he's in love with. Yeah. Like if you look at it, you just see like an eye with the clouds and everything. But if you put the black light. Like the clouds actually, like they come alive almost. I don't know. They they they're like a real vibrant vibrant blue, and then like it has these little dots all around it that you can't see without the black light. Now, is all of your work available to purchase, or is there some pieces you just won't part with? Um, most of them are for purchase. I was telling him the other day, like I've had them for so long, like. There's some that I won't let go because like they've just become like part of me, you know. Yeah. Um, especially the one I was talking to him about, um, the the guy and the girl one. There's a, a guy and a girl in my room, and it was actually inspired with Andy because of Andy. So I've always like joked with Andy because he's an atheist, and like when we were younger, about, he yeah. uh, he was called Lucifer. His mom would call him Lucifer because he didn't believe in anything yeah. and so like i mean us being stupid and kids i called myself demon child yeah. so that painting like is of us and you've seen it the guy's like a devil and he's like pink and the girl has like this beautiful blue hair well if you look at it they're like winding into each other so like him and her are like meshing into each other so like i thought that was just so beautiful and like when i painted it like those feelings were coming out of me and like, I was like, oh, this is a beautiful picture. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna sell it. And I tried selling it a couple of times, but like, as people were looking at it, I was just like, I can't do that. It's, it's gonna be mine. Like, <laughs> I can't sell it. Uh, I like the space. I have a lot of shit, if you know, you see my room, right? Yeah. So when we were building the house, like I picked that room just for me because I have a lot of stuff and I always like, like love making stuff. Um, so I have one table, one that's specifically like for my art projects and my paintings and just, just to fuck it up, you know, like just to be for what I need at my craft stuff, you know? And then the other one over there was for my, my tattoos. So that's why I had two different ones. Um, I'm not tattooing there no more, so it gives me just more room to do more shit in there. But um, I don't know, I just, I love the space. It's a lot bigger, you know, and I, I do a lot of big pieces. So the, the space is like way better than having the other rooms. Yeah. I hate carpet right. though. I mean, as you saw, I already fucked up my carpet, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was gonna look into, I my was carpet's jacked. <laughs> I hope you truly see this thing that we're trying to do is that you are a big inspiration to people, not just us in general. You don't know how amazing you are. So like whenever a thought enters your damn mind about, you know, I don't know if I'm going to make it. You are a, an amazing person, MJ. And I'm Thank grateful you. to call you my friend. You know, so I want to thank you for inspiring us to do this. Yes, thank you for letting me be here. You know, it's just, yeah, I'll be, obviously we'll check up on you because that's what we do. Yes. You know, but, <laughs> you know, you are a great artist. Never, ever doubt yourself ever again. I right, won't. Because I'll, you know, I'll find someone to beat your ass. You can beat me up, but, you know. Poke right. me with a stick. There you go. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Hidden Gems of San Antonio. If you know any hidden gems that would like to be featured on a future episode, give a like, subscribe, and give that hidden gem a shout out in the comments below.